Welcome to 10th Year Seniors. This is our NFL playoff preview. Um, we did, at least I did an amazing job predicting who would be in the playoffs, and now I'm going to do an even better job letting you know who's going to win these games and go on to the Super Bowl. Not true. We, we all failed. We could go back and look at um, what the predictions were, but I think like that's just a waste of time. But my just AFC know that I was over good. 90%. In all of my predictions, <laughs> I predicted each playoff team accurately with the correct record. I even predicted the tie from Carolina. So. Did, did we do a preview? I don't remember doing a season preview. That never happened. Hey, I only got Didn't one happen. team off from the AFC. So, ha! Yeah, better than all you. That one team was the Dolphins. No, Chargers. I don't uh, know what you guys are talking about. It never happened. Yeah, well, you know, we now we have the full set of playoff teams. The matchups are set for next week. This is one of the greatest football weekends that there um, that there ever are. Yeah, so. it's like the first round of the NCAA tournament. You have so many games going on. It's always something to do, always something to watch, and always some place to go to watch. And it, it's so. great that they have the games on Saturday and yes. Sunday. Yes, uh, right. Wild when card when weekend. Right when football comes down on Saturday in college football, the NFL pops in to save the day or take advantage of as much money and ad revenue as they can. So let's talk about some of the matchups uh, that we have here. And, you know, you could probably bet your mortgages on these games that I'm going to call for you right now. So let's we'll start off with the NFC. Um, the first matchup that I want to talk about actually is a game that I probably won't watch is the Carolina <laughs> Panthers versus the Arizona Cardinals. Why wouldn't you watch this game? I, that game, the, they just look boring on TV together. I mean, there's no way I'm watching this. But that's why it's going to be so good. And here's why I love this game. What we are seeing right now is new. this new version of Cam Newton. I escaped the car wreck. Boy, I he, have a new outlook on life. He got so good after breaking them vertebrae. Football is just a game to me. This Cam Newton is like the monkey's off his back he saw the light that's what he did the weight of the world is off his shoulders and now it, he looks like he's playing at auburn again i love this cam newton carolina is probably going to win this game by 10 points and how insane is yeah, it yeah, that they're going to make it to the divisional round with a sub 500 record but if they make when they make it to the divisional round technically their record won't be sub 500 anymore fine <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Yeah, John. Uh, John. Yes. <laughs> he does not care about a, now's a point. sub five hundred regular season record. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, nobody goes over and still counts the playoff record. They, I all, they actually do that on you know on every Fox and CBS broadcast. It's, and I always, it's always weird to see someone twelve and five. That's always a weird record. It's so to stupid. <laughs> like, but that was amazing. We don't think of it that way. So are we completely writing off the Cardinals? Like they have, they, yeah, they have been done. written off. No, no shot. No. I mean, are you going to go play quarterback for them? No. <laughs> I wish then, I could. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they didn't play Logan Thomas to see what they had in him. Yeah, see, I don't know who that is. <sighs> Logan, <laughs> well, the reason I know, know Logan Thomas is from writing stories about Dimitri Knowles. Uh, Virginia Bayman Tech. That plays at Virginia Tech and uh -huh. Logan Thomas is a quarterback. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, no. no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know if I would believe in Logan Thomas either. Who is their quarterback right now? Is, is it wrong that I have no idea who's playing? Lindy, Ryan is Lindy. Still, is it still Lindley? Yeah, Lindley. You can't even oh, pronounce I, his name properly. He's, mm, yeah. I think it's David Craig. <laughs> it's fill in the blank. <laughs> they don't Maybe know. it's Jake Plummer. It's Jake Plummer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they definitely had a bad day. <laughs> That's stay in it. Okay, and the next matchup in the NFC next week, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Detroit Lions. So I, I really, really interested in this yes. game because this could be the game that every Cowboy fan is dreading. You, they have to be afraid. I don't care what they say. They're petrified. They're all petrified right now because now it's real. Now it's live bullets. Now it's the playoffs. Because in any one game, I mean, out of all the superstars in the NFL, especially the ones that play wide receiver, isn't Megatron the one that you're – if you're a fan of the opposing team, you're absolutely sure this is the game he has three I'm touchdowns, I'm going to right? spend the week trolling Cowboys fans just by posting Megatron commercials yeah. all on Facebook. I mean, every time. it's going to be – I mean, the Lions could get Reggie Bush back. I know he's been no, but I mean I know no, he makes a difference. He makes a big difference. No, it was, it was, laughing, Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. No, is good. It, it was just funny to me because like I think people have been banking on Reggie Bush to add this dynamic with the Lions all season, and at this point, I feel like when Matthew Stafford watches ESPN and he hears people say that, he just scoffs at it or laughs or mumbles under his breath. Like, cursing Reggie could Bush. Just, he could but I, I could see um, Dallas bowing out in the now, first round. Dallas. 
Dallas losing in the first round would be such a Cowboys way to end the season because you know their fans were all beat up and they were still going through like post traumatic stress disorder from like the last five years of going eight and eight. So you just and that lo- fumble still haunts yes, them. Yes, and this twelve and four record it looks really really nice, but to go into this first playoff game and you know they're gonna get like the prime time slot. Everyone is going to be watching nothing but the That's Cowboys. all well and good. I know as Dolphin fans in the Bahamas, we're automatically predisposed Who's to... Who's a Dolphin fan? <laughs> to not liking Cowboy fans. But uh-huh. do we really want the spray tan storyline out of the playoffs? Because yes. I'm not ready for it to be <laughs> gone mind. yet. Never mind. I'm not Never ready mind. for it to be gone. Completely, I need it to stay. Completely change my, my mind. Complete 360. I, I hope the Cowboys win by 27 points. What? Don't you want Go the story lines. to make it to media week? They yes. look for stories and yes. dig for any story yes. to have during Super Bowl media week. I think it may be the only reason I want the Cowboys to get there, I really just to see the spray tan story go viral. If like no girl has me saved a spray tan in her phone. Yeah, yeah like as a single someone, dude, don't you want to go around like someone asking, save me a spray tan, please? <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. But um, well, I guess on the football side, I mean, Demarco Murray has been the whole team the entire year, and because of that, are we absolutely sure that Romo is gonna do his Romo thing? Because I feel like that's what's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure, it, you know, it's gonna happen. What happens is okay. Maybe the Lions don't get them, but then after that, they have to go on the road and play the Packers or the Seahawks. So you're saying yeah, they would be going, they're gonna get they would, beat? They would be going to play the Packers. Mm. That's a tough one. But this is a good matchup, and this is going to be a primetime game that I want to watch, unlike the Panthers. The hey, Cardinals. that game is going to be good. Ryan Lindley there's, threw for 300 yards against the 49ers no way, yesterday. There's no way that game is going to be good. Ryan Lindley threw for 300 <laughs> yards and two touchdowns. Now, let's, Not one, but two. <laughs> two touchdowns. So that <clears throat> wild card weekend set in the NFC, we have the Packers and we have um, the Seahawks on a bye. Didn't we write the Seahawks off? I, I did. I have no idea. What I don't know what about. you're talking. About. I mean, we I didn't write so. them off, but we said, weren't they going to be in troubled waters? Pretty much, John. And that was like really bad analysis from you. And no, maybe, no, no, no. I'm, I'm surprised you, que- you did that, John. I'm you gonna, should question yourself yeah, on why you do an NFL that. podcast you if you can't stuff like that. Meet yourself. Meet will, yourself, John. I will, that was awful. To, I will bring up the footage of when it was no, the week that no. you said that you knew everything. Never happened. Yeah, and that week I said I knew everything. I predicted these exact results. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Uh, so moving on to the AFC. In the AFC, we have what time is it right now? We're at ten thirty, and the Bengals and the Steelers are still playing. The Steelers are up. So if the Steelers actually win the division, they're going to be the third seed, and they would play Baltimore, Baltimore. in the first round. Steelers and Baltimore again. Wow, <laughs> again. I don't want to watch for that. the millionth time. At this point, they should basically play football with knives in their hands. Like, like that's it. the only way it's more entertaining to me. And here's why this game is so much better this time. Okay. James Harrison came back. Mm. Yes, he's but the, he's the angriest. I mean, he's the one player in the NFL. I mean, he's obviously on steroids, right? Yes, obviously. Yeah, I mean, and they just let it go because he's an entertaining character. Obviously, yes. So I want to see him just rip somebody's head off. But without yes. Ray Lewis in this matchup, I yeah, I, not having Ray Lewis is tough. Yeah, like, he, but he really should come back, give a pregame speech, and say again, no weapon formed against this <laughs> football team. You don't have Ray back. Lewis, but, and this is how shrewd Baltimore's front office is. You don't have Ray Lewis, but who did you add this offseason? Steve Smith Sr. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steve Smith Sr. That's a, and if that's anybody a good can crazy. get a locker room that's fired up, good crazy. It's the craziness of Steve Smith Sr. He put Sr. on the back of his jersey. Yes. I mean, come on. He's fought the teammates. Kyle Dorset Sr. <laughs> that. He fights his teammates all the time. He fights opposing players all the time. But who do you think wins that one? Steelers and Ravens? Steelers and Ravens. Steelers win this game. The Ravens secondary is awful. And Ben Roethlisberger So then that Steve Smith point is just null and void. No, it's not to him. null and void. But to me, and like I'm making accurate predictions at this point. So yeah, yeah basically, I'm just picking the home teams. <laughs> <laughs> so the Steelers are gonna one road team is going to win, but it won't be. The but Ravens, if you think, think one road team is going to win, is I mean, wouldn't it be most likely to happen in a rivalry game like that? Because most rivalry games, you could basically throw records out of the window. They play each other. Look at the Dolphins. You know what you can't throw out the window? The Ravens' awful secondary and the Steelers really. Great wide receiver core. The wide receiver like core that didn't that exist the in the beginning of the sure. season. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't even hear what John mm-hmm. said just yeah. now. Yeah. He probably said something wrong again. Yeah, yeah. probably. 
Okay, and the next matchup would be, oh, wow, am I going to watch this game? No. <laughs> the Colts versus the Bengals. For some reason, I just don't like watching the Bengals in the playoffs because I feel like they won't ever go anywhere. Well, Andy Dalton. It's the red his, hairs. Yeah, where, where'd he get his win? Don't uh, you want? I want to watch it for Andrew Luck, though. I, I mean, want to watch it for T.Y. Hilton more than anything. Yeah, well, there you go. Hilton. More so than Can the both Bengals. teams lose? It would, that would be great if both teams could somehow lose. More so than Bengals playoffs. doing Bengals things. I want to watch it for, for Andrew Luck and T.Y. Hilton. And I don't the, know. Andrew Luck's been struggling a lot lately, and the Bengals' defense seemed like it's been on point. So They did get the best of Peyton Manning, so yeah. them going on the road, it's not, it's not a stretch to say that they could take out Andrew Luck right now. And you know what? I'm going to say it right now. Is everyone ready? This is my upset special. The Bengals go on the road and they beat the Indianapolis Colts despite T.Y. Hilton uh, getting 20 catches for 300 yards receiving and four touchdowns. Andrew Luck is going to throw the okay. game losing. If T.Y. <laughs> gets that, they will win the game. No, no, no. He's going to do everything he can, but then Andrew Luck is going to mess Way it up. Way to go all, the on, all the way out on the limb there. You picked a five to beat a four. Yes. Yes. <laughs> really out there on yes. that limb. Hey, shocking, when, shocking prediction. When all of these come true... You guys are going to be like, oh, that was amazing. That was amazing once again. Good job. But, you know, that is all of that is just based on if the Steelers hang on and win this game tonight, which I think they will. Yeah, I mean, right now, as we're recording this, they're up 20 to 10 in the third quarter. Yeah, they got that on lock. So I don't yeah. I don't see the Bengals. I mean, the Bengals may pretty much be mailing it in, or they, they're just not very good. The Bengals did sit a lot of people uh, today, even Pac-Man Jones, who amazingly is still in the NFL. I'm despite so hey, well. He despite, likes to be called Adam. Despite yeah, everything. He's, a, he's Adam now. Yeah. Adam Jones. Despite everything that these players do, somehow Adam Jones has survived all of this. All the Roger Goodell, all the Paul Tagliabue. It's crazy because he is a cockroach of the NFL. You cannot yeah. kill him. He reminds me of the Peter Warwick, except he's still in the NFL. And performing, that's the thing. He's not just hanging around. He's starting, and he's having an impact on game. Special I think teams. I just talked myself into the Bengals. The Bengals are going to go on the road and win. See, I told you. Huh? Hey, Andrew, guess what? Colts could lose. God damn. So who's going to be the star of Wild Card Weekend? If you had to, you had to pick one guy. Cam Newton. One guy that's going oh, to gonna be my guy. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, John, <laughs> not, not waiting for cues. Um, the star of Wild Card Weekend for me is probably going to be Des Bryant or Spray Tan. I feel like Des Bryant or Spray Tan. Yeah. Spray Tan. Let's never call him by the other name again. It should what just be Spray Tan. What other name does he have? I know, just Spray Tan. What other name? I don't. Spray Tan. Spray Tan. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, really... I, I think I'm going to go with Spray Tan too. Are we going to be looking ahead to the division? Yes, round, let's or... look ahead because. Yeah. For me, Wild Card Weekend is all well and good, but the greatest football weekend, the weekend that still has hope for gets, everyone, is the divisional round It games. gets real. It gets so it gets real. real. And we could be walking in potentially, if the scores hold, Pittsburgh is going to be walking into Denver. Last time Pittsburgh walked into Denver in the playoffs, someone named Tim Tebow Timmy! destroyed them in overtime. Yeah. That would be a great matchup. And I think the, one of the destroyed best in overtime isn't really destroying. Tim Tebow. Um, when walk. you when Tim Tebow throws a slant that goes eighty yards and Jesus basically runs in the end zone, <laughs> yes, you've been destroyed. The Steelers have never been the same since then. This is a redemption story for them. And then we would also have if my you know, predictions, which uh, will hold if they do hold. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Uh, if I mean know, they, they will hold. Okay. Uh, the Bengals going in New England to get. Destroyed. That's again. Yeah. <laughs> or we could have the Colts going into New England <laughs> to get destroyed again. To get destroyed. To but get, like, wait, 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 wait. Let's go with the better story because the Bengals going into New England. Eh. Yeah. But Andrew Luck going into New England to play against Tom Brady, old but, guard versus the new. Yes, except has the, to, except the Patriots crush them. That's fine. <laughs> And That's then the Patriots crushed him in the playoffs before. Yeah, I'm not talking about the actual game. I don't care about the actual game. I'm talking about the storyline <laughs> from a writing perspective. Uh, you could have Andrew Luck possibly going, having to go through Tom Brady and having to go through Peyton Manning to get to the Super Bowl. How great would that be? That I think would be that great. Would be if, the, he, if he could get it done, that would be if great. If he does that, I think that would be the No matter how he looks at it, he, he's going to have to play those two Like if they yeah. win. So if he wants yeah. to progress, he's playing. And then those. possibly playing no. Aaron Rodgers in the Super Bowl. I no, want that's it, though. But I think the better game that we could, the best game we could possibly get out of the AFC is for the Patriots to play the Steelers. The Steelers know how to play New England. 
and Ben Roethlisberger against Tom Brady, that's a great matchup. We have seen the Patriots. You don't want to see Manning Brady again. Uh, no, you don't want to see wanna Manning see... Brady. All right, that, that is me selfishly saying no. I don't want to see that matchup. Please don't let that happen. Someone upset one of them. Uh, I don't. I don't play. think. I think that those two are going to be in there. I'm going all in with my Andrew Luck storyline. Okay, you're going with Andrew Luck. All in with my Andrew so you Luck went line. from the Bengals now back. Yeah, to Andrew now Luck. I don't even know who you are picking. Yeah, is this why Sani won? The this Dolphins aren't in this. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going all in. I'm rooting for the best story. My I have story. no vested interest in these teams. I right hope now. Carolina wins it all. That like now good good transition, John, because we got to look ahead in the NFC, yeah. and in the NFC for the second round, if the Cowboys win, they will be playing Green Bay in or, the second round. Yeah. Psh, psh, spank up, anyways. So you're saying they're going to get crushed? Yeah, they're going to get So either crushed. way, who wins that wild card game is out once they go to Lambeau. Yeah. Like, I thought Aaron Rodgers got hurt. He isn't hurt. He's no. fine. He came in slanging. You know, he beat yeah. the Lions again. So. It was tied 14-14. Then he came in and just said, yeah. Come he just said no. Whoever wins that game is a dome team going on the road to play in Lambeau. I mean, unless spray tan has like a really so we quality got spray tan, tan going in there. Spray tan. You can't get a spray tan when it's that cold and cloudy. Okay. Inside. Inside. Yeah. They're not playing inside. They're playing outside. No, I'm but saying I'm saying you, you get can this, go. Yeah. Go to what? You, you're a white. You're the white person. You're the white know. guy. How do you not know how <laughs> tanning works? Yes. You don't need this. Aside. Are you, you kidding me? Booth. Anyways, what? it's going to be a Green Bay, Seattle. So, um, isn't Cam Newton your guy? You're saying Cam Newton goes into. Seattle I want and them loses? to win the entire thing. You know what? Yeah, going on a limb here. <laughs> Carolina's going to Super Bowl. <laughs> Done. We're so bad at this. Okay, and I think I think Seattle beats Carolina, and then Seattle plays Green Bay in the divisional game, and I'm not going to predict that yet because I don't have to. I'm just predicting up to the division. Because he doesn't know. Well, what else are we going to do? Okay, fine. I'll predict <laughs> yeah, <let's laughs> So then Seattle plays Green Bay. They're in Seattle. I, I can't go against Aaron Rodgers. I can't I either. Can't. And Aaron Rodgers will play that game with a chip on his shoulder. You know why? Because all people are going to talk about the entire week is him not throwing to Richard Sherman. So what is he going to do on the first drive? Throw to Richard Sherman at least four times. Okay, he probably won't do that. Like no. exactly. He, he might. It all depends on what photo of Olivia Munn comes out like that week. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully some. See, good and news. right now she's not as busy because they're not filming the newsroom night right now, and they were. They, you know the game in Buffalo they lost was the same week of the season finale of Newsroom and I bet like there was a whole lot of busyness and emotion going on I bet I there was like a bunch all of this, parties going on all this free time for Olivia Munn is gonna make Aaron Rodgers even better right so now so much better he could pull off a spray tan I can't even talk about the Packers without bringing up Olivia Munn at this point <laughs> she's their second best player she is legitimately she's Aaron Rodgers then is Olivia Munn I think the Packers <laughs> are in the Jordy Super Bowl Nelson. and in the AFC I would like for the Steelers to make it but Denver. My my great football analytical brain is telling me that the Patriots are going to the Super Bowl. <sighs> so we're gonna have Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers. So in another the Super Bowl. New England Green Bay Super Bowl. Yes, I liked how the first one turned out. Yeah, it's it's a pretty good first one. And Aaron Rodgers gets his second Super Bowl and cements himself over so Brett Favre. Carolina versus Denver. Carolina wins it all. Wow. Amazing! If that happened, that's amazing. That really also, is. a very good color scheme for the Super Bowl. Good job, John. Nah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Colts Packers just because I want Andrew Luck to run the gauntlet. Colts and Packers. It yeah. kind of looks awful. I don't yeah. like those colors. All right, I'll go with it. It's like it's like a old time and it's like a old NFL film Super Bowl. Where are they playing the Super Bowl this year? It's in Arizona. Arizona. Uh, are you gonna be there? Uh, no. John only goes if UCF is playing. Yeah, I've been to that stadium already. I got my victory in there. Who does Sani think is going to win the Super Bowl? (laughs) She doesn't even know who's (laughs) in the playoffs. She has no idea who's in the playoffs. The the guy from Philadelphia isn't in the playoffs. So she doesn't care about football anymore. Oh, wait. They didn't make the playoffs? No, they didn't make the playoffs. (laughs) They finished ten and six. We just finished talking wow. about all the playoff teams, playoff teams, and it's just like, like, wait, Philadelphia didn't make it. I'm not good at this. Shut up. Oh, man. But no, seriously, that's funny that they didn't know. I was like, I thought they were a lock. Nah, <laughs> nah. Chip Kelly is awful. There come coach go. the Dolphins, mm-hmm. please, please, <laughs> please come coach the Dolphins. No, do not come to Miami. Didn't? Oh, I did say Lashawn McCoy was going to stink it up this season. 
Yes, you got one thank, prediction thank, right thank out of you. all of your wrong predictions, John. You got one right. You, you're out there. You're not seeing this right now, but John is moving his arms in some circular podcast. Is a, is back, a, it's not a visual medium. <laughs> so, John, us to he praises on him. So, yes, John, you predicted that LeSean McCoy would be bad, and he was bad. Okay, so He's we, now we talked the about the playoff teams, and we talked about who's going to win the Super Bowl, the Packers, and how I just made everyone money who was listening to this podcast. If you just follow my predictions, who is the most interesting team that didn't make the playoffs? Is it the 49ers and Jim Harbaugh leaving? Is it Jacksonville and Blake Bortles? The answer is no. Is it the Miami Dolphins? Also no. Also no. no. I hate that team so much. Don't ever play football. You know what team would have been great the to make the playoffs? No. The Browns. If the Browns <laughs> made the playoffs. Because even if Hoyer took him to the playoffs... It would have been like, so is Johnny Football going to start this playoff game? I'm so, I'm so done with that thing. Let me ask you something. You know what's really depressing in the last week of the season? Like, at least you guys can tell me what you think is depressing. The last week of the season is depressing when two non-playoff teams are playing. And they're trying so hard. You're just like, <laughs> oh, do you really care? Just, go on, va- just go on vacation. Just go on vacation. Well... Like, no, because some guys are playing for incentives. Yeah, because uh, if they play 75% like of the Eric players. Eric Decker, who decided today to get 200 yards against the Dolphins. Yeah, which, uh, and the Dolphins... Okay, speaking... Also, well, this may have nothing to do with that, but this made me think about it in terms of incentives. But you had Teddy Bridgewater come to Miami and kill the Dolphins in Week 16. Though the Dolphins then, won. G- although the Dolphins won, he still had a very good game. Geno Smith comes in, and he does the same thing. He had a perfect passer rating. The Dolphins should just draft guys that are from Miami because obviously when they come to play in Miami, they absolutely destroy. They the should Dolphins. have been doing that since the University of Miami was yeah. good. How about we just draft <laughs> the next quarterback that. from so Miami? So you're saying you need more leave on Hernandez? Just saying, I love you, Miami. Yes, that I'm. I'm gonna need some of that. Yeah, uh, yeah, but the Dolphins aren't. The Dolphins gonna have Ty. I think. I think the most interesting team that didn't make the playoffs is who I just laughed at a minute ago, and that's Philadelphia because I could have sworn they were a lock for. Like the last five weeks of the season, mm-hmm. I thought they were absolutely going to be in the playoffs. Yeah. To me, they're the, like the funniest team. No, the 49ers are the funniest team that didn't make but the see, playoffs. We we Gimmick we offense. Saw, we saw that coming though. Like they were eliminated yeah. a, a, a few weeks ago. Like they were in trouble for most of the season. They were an afterthought for a pretty long time. The Eagles were right up there for the division though. Like until last week, I think. Lost. They lost Two the Cowboys. Yeah, when yeah. they lost to the Cowboys, yeah. that was pretty much. All she wrote. It for the division, but they still had they still were in the conversation to actually get in. So Chip Kelly isn't magic. He can't. No, I told you it's a gimmick offense he runs. Gimmick. Mm -hmm. College. Stick to college. (laughs) Just like Nick Saban. Dead. One word sentences. Gimmick. Gimmick. College. College. Stick to college. college. Stick to college. But you know the Dolphins did improve their draft position by losing. I don't know why these teams don't just like speaking of draft position, shout out Kev. Bucks with the number one pick. Enjoy yourself. They got the number one pick? Yeah. <laughs> Bucks are going to be number one. Uh, please pick Winston. Please pick Winston. Please pick Winston. <laughs> that's great. So that's going to wrap it up for our NFL uh, playoff preview. We're going to be back um, just to basically congratulate me on picking all these um, games correctly. So, you know, for all of your NFL news, please follow 10th Year Seniors. Like our Facebook page. Follow the Instagram. Follow uh, the car. Enjoy my jokes. And uh, everyone, stay woke. Stay woke.